Hey guys, I'm Elrond, the first boss, and today we're gonna take a look at my recent pickups. Here we go! So first up, I bought these four GBA games from a guy here in Numeo. Uh, we have Link's Adventure for GBA, and we have uh, Zelda, the original, for GBA, the NES Classics, uh, and we have Doom, the first Doom game for GBA, and we have Uyugo no Tayo! And that's Golden Sun for GBA. Really love this game. And another guy I bought another GBA game from is the sequel to Golden Sun. So you can actually transfer your save data from the original uh, Golden Sun onto the sequel. Uh, Golden Sun The Lost A uh, Age, I think it's called, yeah. And uh, I actually came to the last boss for in this game uh, when I previously owned this game. Uh, I sold it, but now I found such a good price for it, I had to buy it again. And this time I'll try to finish it. Um, and after that, uh, a guy over in Finland had a really nice price for a 32X and the digital analog converter for the analog uh, NT and uh, uh, the Super NT and the uh, Mega SG. So the new FPGA uh, consoles. Uh, which Analog came out with. So I'm gonna use this to actually use the 32X since, um, yeah, and I got the 32X from the guy in Finland as well. It's really awesome. It's boxed and Japanese uh, in pretty good condition. The box is, uh, I guess it's, it's okay. I, I, I think it's nice, so it's okay. And finally, lastly, we have a package over here which I had to take a loan from my big brother to afford. And uh, we're gonna open it. So let's do it. Here we have it, the Shark Famicom TV. So, uh, here you put in the cartridges, and uh, here's a little lid you can open. Here's the expansion port, and the Player 2 port, and I'm guessing the reset button. Player 1 controller inserts here. It didn't come in with any controllers, but I intend to use the expansion port for controllers and maybe try to reverse engineer and figure out uh, which of the pins over here correspond to pins on the NES controller. Of course we have a on button and a bunch of other buttons appear. Yeah. Uh, it said it was broken, so I will probably have to solder some stuff in this. I'm gonna put put some uh, electricity to it and just see if it, it powers on. If it doesn't, I'll have to work on it. So yeah, uh, that's the Sharp Famicom TV. Really expensive, only 10,000 or so made. And I'm really looking forward to seeing the image on this one once it gets working as it's true RGB. Uh, the only Famicom console or NES console which actually outputs true RGB. So it's gonna be the best possible image out of an analog console. Okay, so uh, that pretty much uh, sums up my pickups. Oh, and uh, wouldn't you know, I got another package I uh, received as well. So before I finish editing this uh, episode, uh, we're actually going to take a look at that package as well. So let's open that one up. Here we have it. Let's check what's inside.
Okay, so let's check it out. So we have a X68000 bundle of floppies here. And the first one just says Super X68000. I'm not sure what it says there. And next up we have Suvalium. Uh, disk A and disk B, I'm guessing. Yeah, disk A and disk B, Suvalium. So I actually already got that game boxed. Uh, so these discs will be sold or actually tested first. If they're working, I'll be selling them as a working copy. And here we have uh, this, uh, let's see, C, B, E, G, and I for, uh, I think it's uh, one of the beat em ups on, uh, on the X60,000. Uh, not beat em ups, but more like fighting games, uh, like Street Fighter. I think it's Fatal Fury, but I'm not sure. Fatal Fury Special, could be wrong. And then we have Super Xevious for the X68000. Really cool. And then we have some weird Koei game here. I'm not sure which game this is. It's got the Koei sleeve and everything. Really cool. And then we have the program disc of Record of Lotus War for X68000. And here we have the. Um, I forgot what this game was called, something Nama blah blah blah. 68 and it's like a baseball game. I already have this box, so and I've also shown this on the channel previously. So that's the disc A of that game. And then we have um, Space War Simulator, disc A, and disc B and disc C, as well as uh, I think it's uh, an opening disc. So that's cool. Uh, did not have this game working previously, I think. And then we have three discs here from System Soft. They are all um, different colors. The first one's green, and the second one's blue, and the third one is uh, orange. And uh, these two, the blue and orange, says one and two, and the first one says nothing. So I'm guessing this is like the opening disc, and then one and two. And I, I'm guessing it's some kind of says campaign version of 2. I'm not sure. Well, we'll have to try that game out and see what it is. And get it working, that is. Uh, and here we have something 2 by Magical Company. I think this is uh, related to Fatal Fury as well. Um, and here we have actually Terry Bogard and I think it's Ro Ryo. And I'm not sure what the third guy is called. So here we have Street Fighter 2 uh, with a tilde in the, in the name by Capcom. So I actually don't have a working copy of this game, so hopefully this one works. Let's see. And here we have a game which I, I'm kind of doubtful it's actually a X68000 game. It's called Sword Dancer. And I've seen that this actually exists for the PC98, but not the x68000 so i'm gonna see if this actually loads in either of my computers so i have both the pc98 and the x68000 i'm gonna try that one out and this is actually the game why i bought the, the whole lot because i wanted to see if this game actually exists for x68000 then it's really cool but i have my doubts and then we have a bunch of floppies from overtake so I already own this, so these copies will go up for sale. Overtake, it's a really cool racing game with great music for X68000. And yeah, that's it. So please leave a comment below what you think about uh, these games I got and uh, all the accessories and stuff. And uh, have you gotten anything cool recently? Please tell me. And uh, yeah, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye.